Rising Collective of Sagittarius. Welcome to a general November love reading. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for every Sagittarius out here. So only take the part that fits Sag and disregard the rest. It is a general reading. If it resonates Sagittarius, I uh, ask that you please like, share, and subscribe. All right? Now, you could be dealing with a Scorpio Sagittarius because we are in Scorpio season. You could be dealing with a Capricorn too. But somebody is all in their head here. And the Spirit is telling somebody to free themselves because you got new love here. Get, I feel like somebody is ignoring new offers because they're still stuck either stuck on something from the past. Because you got to free yourself. It says time to take back control of your life. Get back out there is what I feel like Spirit is saying because you got new love here. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings here. But I feel like you need to free yourself because you don't want to work on it. You're not giving them your attention. You probably stand off this year. Some of you guys, you're closed-minded here. The Spirit is asking somebody to keep an open mind here because you got new love here. It says work on your partnership. I feel like somebody trying to get your attention, Sagittarius, and I feel like you're not bothered. Now, you could be trying to get their attention. Take a half fist. It could be vice versa. Or reverse the roles. Do like you need. But you could be trying to get somebody, and this could be somebody new that you have met, but they're, they're, they're blocking it because they need to free themselves, and they either they need to release an ex, or they need to do some healing here. You got the King of Cups, Seven of Swords in the reverse, Nine of Cups in the reverse, oof. So someone, someone may have some type of addictions that they need to get help with. So somebody may have some type of uh, addiction that, that they need to free themselves from. <laughs> Look, I know this ain't for everybody. Somebody got some. Somebody could be drinking a lot. I feel like somebody's not being honest about it. Somebody needs to free themselves because they're running away from this. So someone could be running away from this connection because they're not happy. See, there you go, Sagittarius. It could be you because there go temperance in the reverse. I feel like there's a lot of over overindulgence here, okay? Somebody's doing too much or something here. Somebody could have a gambling problem. Somebody is uh, uh, imbalanced. Someone is losing patience. Someone is over overindulgence. I keep hearing overindulgence. Somebody's doing something, see? And there go the five of swords in reverse. And there go the nine of pentacles here. So somebody probably want to be single. I feel like someone is trying to find a reason not to entertain this new love. All right? That's what I'm hearing. It could also be because someone lives their life the way that they want to live it and they don't want nobody to come tell them what to do. Somebody here could be uh, running away from this love connection here too. So what's the message for Sagittarius? Somebody may be about to be honest about how they feel about somebody. Maybe they don't want to play games anymore. See, because something is about to change. See, there it is. There go the will of fortune and there go the star. See? Because someone needs to heal. Either someone needs to go get some type of treatment. Like, I feel like somebody, somebody may have had some type of drinking problem or some type of gambling problem here. See, and there go the page of swords. Because I feel like somebody here wasn't invested emotionally, but they may find themselves. I feel like somebody here is, can't trust their thoughts. Somebody was not optimistic. But there's definitely a love connection being offered to you at this time, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces here. So let's see for Sagittarius. You got the King of Cups, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have the Page of Swords, the Star, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords, the World, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have your energy, Sagittarius, with the Temperance in the Reverse. You got the Wheel of Fortune with Leo. You got the Star card, Aquarius. The nine of pentacles, the world, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You could be dealing with any of those zodiac signs. 
So what's going on for Aquarius? So someone is being called to keep an open mind because I feel like this new love could be very, very good for you. But I feel like somebody feels like they're better off being single. See, you got somebody coming in here. It could be choices, the lovers. Could be a Gemini. So why is the Seven of Swords in the reverse for Sagittarius? I feel like someone may, may be, um, like I feel like someone may go through some healing and things is going to turn around in this connection, especially if it's somebody you've been trying to get their attention or vice versa here. Somebody could be stuck in the past too. Seven of Swords. See, because somebody not happy. Four of Cups. So someone is, it's like someone is drowning in their misery. Someone is not letting somebody love them. Somebody's closed off, wallowing in their pain, having a pity party, feeling inadequate for some type of way that go to five of swords. Somebody could be feeling rejected here. So someone here could feel like they got to play games to get somebody. Because there's the Three of Cups. It's almost like somebody's not being their real self. Because they may be hiding something. Like I feel like somebody either gambled something. But like I said, there's the sun. Could be a Leo. So something that's been hidden is coming to the light. It could be that somebody's been avoiding this because... They got their own personal issues behind the scenes that they didn't want you to know about or vice versa. Why is the temperance in the reverse for Sagittarius? Clarify the temperance. It could be somebody is still holding on to a past connection, wanting to come back to them. They go the Ten of Pentacles. See, so you got the Nine of Pentacles here too. So, like, I feel like it says free yourself. I feel like somebody needs to free themselves from something that they were connected to in the past because it's new opportunities here. There it is again. So, in other words, you ain't lost nothing, but somebody going to have to change how they feel or, or heal because you got new love here. Why is temperance in the reverse for Sagittarius? See, because somebody needs to uh, make up their mind what they want. Because somebody needs to look at things from a different perspective. Somebody's not, not, not evolving spiritually. That's why. Somebody's refusing to change. Someone's refusing to release something. And as a result, somebody may be rejecting something new that's going to bring in something good. See, because there go the Ace of Cups. You got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So it's almost like, see, it's like I feel like somebody here cannot make up their mind or not, they're not keeping an open mind for something new because once again, someone is still holding on to the past with the Six of Cups in the reverse. Why is the Five of Swords in the reverse here for Sagittarius? Clarify the Five of Swords. Ooh, these relationships, they're as complicated as it says. I feel like somebody's afraid. There's a need for someone to take control over their life and their thoughts, their habits. They go to the devil. See, there go the moon. Especially if someone if someone just got out of a relationship or something, did this you meeting a new love? And somebody could be liking you or on the job, but there's a need to cooperate, take back your power over whatever this is going on in your life that's stopping you from loving. Or receiving love because once again things are changing that we have no control over but it's for our highest good it's like the will of fortune things are turning around from you but somebody's getting left behind if they don't release something because it says free yourself now it's time to take back control of your life and that's why the emperor is there and i feel like this is what you're going to do or this is what the person you're dealing with is about to do because there's definitely some good news coming in so why is the nine of cups in the reverse it's almost like somebody may be out of it, you know, over it, not happy, but uh, over drinking. Somebody could be drinking. Like, I feel like somebody got divorced or they left a relationship here. <sighs> see, somebody, see. I 
I feel like somebody don't want new love. They still stuck. And then it could also represent spirit telling someone that there is someone here for you. Nine of cups in reverse. King of pentacles. Two of cups. I feel like spirit's trying to tell someone you need to free yourself. Move away from that which no longer serves you. Because once again, you got a real person here who really wants love with you. Because look, you got the king of cups here. So it's almost like spirit is telling you, free yourself because you got new love here. The past is old, gone, and done away with. Somebody's about to open up your heart to love again, Sagittarius, or vice versa. But if somebody's blocking it, though. So why is the King of Cups here for Sagittarius? You got a whole twin flame relation. See, the King of Cups is ignoring this. See? Somebody's refusing to see something here. Somebody's refusing to see something before them because they're too busy looking behind them. And that cycle is coming gone. That's over with. King of Cups. See? Nine of Swords. See? I feel like somebody is stuck on somebody from their past and they're blocking this new love. But Spirit is telling you the opportunity is here. See? Because see, whoever this new love is, they're going to bring you back to balance. A healthy connection. Two Cups coming together in a healthy way this time. Because you got the other temperance card in the reverse. I just feel like this is something new. It's almost like, see, somebody could be over, somebody over, somebody's drowning their pain in drinking here. See? But it's not working. Because somebody's trying to drown away the pain. But you got somebody here new with this Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups that's hit, finna look, help you. Restore balance back into your life. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Sagittarius? Mm -mm. But somebody wants to stay single. They want to play it safe by being single here. Because I feel like somebody wants to roam and do what they want to do, but you got a real solid connection here. But I feel like somebody don't want that. So that's why Spirit is telling somebody to free yourself. See, Nine of Pentacles. They go to Page of Cups. So like, I feel like this is somebody new who's trying to get your attention. But I feel like what's going on, Sagittarius, is if you listen to your ego with this King of Wands and you're blocking this, see? Because for somebody, you're blocking this cycle from ending because you're not freeing yourself. See? That's what it is. Not only are you not freeing yourself, Spirit says it's time to close out a cycle. And focus on your healing and making your wishes come true. Because look, if you didn't get it from them, Spirit say it ain't over. You can get it with somebody else. But you're going to have to you gonna have to work. Somebody got to do some inner work so that they can free themselves. Because I feel like someone is letting something from their past affect them moving forward to something that's beautiful moving forward here. So why is the will of fortune here for Sagittarius? Clarify the will of fortune. You could be dealing with a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. This is the the, uh, the will of destiny, the will of fate, the will of karma um, coming back around. There's a new, there's another opportunity, Sagittarius, to get exactly what you didn't get before. But this will be in a healthy way here, see? But you're going to have to take control and move forward here. Persevere and don't give up. Because it says keep an open mind. That's in the reverse. See? Because there go the nine of pentacles. See, Spirit's telling somebody to let go of something. Because you got something new and you don't want to bring that baggage in with you. See, and there go the Ten of Swords. So that once again, Spirit is telling somebody that things are changing here, whether you're ready for it or not here. And I feel like somebody got one foot in and one foot out. And all of these changes that's, that's forcing somebody to move on, they're feeling some type of way. See, they're still holding on to it. But I feel like you got a new healthy relationship that's ready to be explored if you can just let go of something else. See, there's a seven of cups. Like I feel like here, either there's a lot of illusions or somebody here is used to having many options or someone needs to look at things from a spiritual perspective here. Seven of cups, someone could be exploring their options. Someone may have left their options open here. So someone may, someone here may be confused. See, like I said, they go the night of wands. See, it's almost like somebody here is 
it's, it's some, it's somebody's turning to a bad boy. And it could also represent somebody's lifestyle, cause them to lose something. So with this Wheel of Fortune, it's giving you another opportunity to make the necessary changes because things are changing here. And it's almost like living and learning. Somebody has to learn. So someone here could have been a player. Someone could have been afraid of new relationships or commitments here. And now that you got a new opportunity here, someone may be playing games with it because they don't want to deal with their issues. There's the page of swords. Someone is checking somebody out now. Either they're looking at you and you're ignoring them. Somebody trying to get your attention. I feel like it's this queen of cups, see? <laughs> Somebody trying to get your attention. I feel like somebody else has been waiting for, for your attention, waiting on you to choose them. But once again, somebody's not taking that leap. See? Because once again, somebody's living with regret. They go to five of cups. But once again, Spirit is telling someone that you got the power to change things. With that magician and the ace of swords, once again, Spirit calling someone to free themselves. And work on your healing. Work on your healing. Release, forgive so that you can experience real love. Why is the star here for Sagittarius? So that your wishes can come true. Because I feel like someone has been blocking love because they are afraid or because they've been hurt before. Or because someone is ashamed. See, and there is death. See, something has to be... See, somebody got to work on themselves and there go the eight of pentacles. Somebody needs to heal from an ending. That was one sided, so that they, so that, so somebody could have, whoever got hurt wrong, whoever got hurt, whoever's the one that got done wrong. So you could have been in the one doing the one sided energy with this knight of, knight of wands here. So once again, it's almost like someone needs to learn from their actions here. Because someone checking you out, see, but I feel like somebody's stuck in the past. But Spirit could also be telling you, because you could have had more than one person you're dealing with, because you got the King and the Queen of Cups. So someone, like, I feel like somebody, you may have had multiple people you were dealing with in one, a couple of situations, or another situation may have suffered because your mind was holding on to somebody else. But they go the Ace of Wands, they go the Page of Swords again, and there go that King of Cups. So once again, I feel like Spirit's trying to get your attention towards something that's going to make you happy and get your mind out off of the things that no longer serves this purpose and that's bringing you down. There's always new opportunities to start something new, but you got to be able to willing. You got to be willing to let go of the old in order to get the new Sagittarius. That's your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.